Hello, welcome to Pain Life. Today we've come to Disneyland Paris at the Hotel Santa Fe, which aka Cars. Um, so we've come here for a four, actually five night stay. So we're doing four nights here and then we're doing another night in a partner hotel. Um, so we're going to capture loads of great content at Disney. Come on, let's go and take a look. Yeah, there's the big sign. You got the cars up there. Yep. Hotel Santa Fe. Yeah, you got so this is where the bus picks you up. If you get the bus, uh, and that's where you can park. And you head into reception, and then. You come to the right, this is where you check in. So Sophie's already doing that now. She's just there. Um, then, I think you can, there's an information desk. I don't know what the difference is between the two, but I guess one's more hotel related, one's not, I'm not sure. What else we got down here? Yeah, some memorabilia. It's got a Starbucks coffee in here. Oh look, here we go, that's handy isn't it Jack? So, when we get up in the mornings we can have a little Starbucks or a cheeky cake. How good's that? What else have we got? We've got some toilets just there. Oh, look. Disney match. So what we got? We got the, the shop just there with all the Disney merch in. Ah, so there's a restaurant and a bar. So this is the Rio Grande bar. What's this? This is where they serve breakfast. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know what else they're doing there. There's a menu just there. There's not a QR code. But He just drinks, so I think that might just be a bar in the evenings. Um, is there any information? Ah, there we go. Look, so that is open at uh, 5.30 and closes at 12. There we go. So, once you're finished in the park, I think the park's open until 11, then you can uh, come and have a beer before you go to bed if you so choose. And then this is the buffet restaurant. It's closed at the moment, so I can't show you in there. I might be able to open the door. Oh yeah, the pasta is actually cars. That's a good shout, Jack. Look at that. And look, there's two cake ones. Oh yeah. Right, so this is the buffet. So the buffet is 35 euros each, uh, an adult, or 22 for children, unless you're on the meal plan. Obviously, you can book a meal plan. So you can do your special birthday as well there, by the looks of it. Uh, breakfast is 22 for adults and 16 for children. I wonder if we can open it up. Nah, that's locked. Um, we'll take a quick look. There's a map here, look. So you can see. There's David Crockett Ranch. Golf Disneyland. I've not seen that before. Hmm. Interesting. So these are the partner ones. So this is where we're going to be staying on our last night. Um, so at the moment we are in Santa Fe. So it's just here. And then we'll come out here, walk along this river, and then go into the equivalent of, well it's called Disney Village. There you go. And then we'll go into the parks. Cool, eh? Yeah, oh we got a lightning green coin. Oh yeah. All sorts of bits. Oh, look, look at oh, what's over there? Go on, mate. Go. Have a look. So you got all the car stuff. Oh yeah, RC with um, Buzz and Woody on. How much is a bag of crisps? Right. So you got this. Which is quite a sort of a medium bag of crisps, I'd say. That's 350. 
<laughs> That's oh, ridiculous. Look, we've got one of these, didn't we? Yeah, Woody, we've got one of them in the car, haven't we? Yeah, but he's, uh, like, he's not got those eyes like that, has he? So, what are we looking at for a, can for a bottle of Coke? It's four quid. What the? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty expensive. So I guess that's where the annual pass comes in handy, if you've got an annual pass. You've got the bags there, what bags have they got, look. They've got an up one, and a Lilo and Stitch, and um, what's he called now? I forget his name. The strawberry guy, <laughs> from Toy Story. Uh, yeah, he's strawberry teddy bear. You get Lilo and Stitch everywhere. It must be the cheapest. Um, uh, what do they call it now? Hallmark, where the companies have to pay for it. But this is Disney. I guess they can show what they like. So the road trip down here wasn't too bad. Um, it took us about three hours from um, Calais, um, so it's not too bad. No traffic on the toll roads. We did go a weird way this time though. We actually went through three tolls. So one was about 25 quid, one was 10 and one was 240. So that was strange, but we got that done. Oh, she's actually at the reception now, that's good. Um, yeah, and then straight into um, hotels, which wasn't too bad. Um, no, no traffic on the other side either. That took us about an hour this morning. We actually left at about quarter to four in the morning. Um, it's now about half past eleven France time, so about half past ten English. So we've been travelling all that time. So we are a bit tired. So I don't think we're going to be too late in the park tonight. But uh, we're going to go around and have some fun anyway. Um, until we're tired enough and then we'll come back to the hotel and chill out. So Sophie's got us all checked in, haven't you so? Ready to go. We're in Sally. We're in Sally. That We're in good. Sally. Um, yeah, Sally Block. We're on the Sally Block. Last time we stayed at uh, McQueen, didn't we? But yeah, so Sally, so we'll find out. We're on the ground floor, which on the is ground good. Floor, yeah. We should have a cot as well. Um, yeah, and we're all ready to go. So they yeah. say that check-in's from three o'clock. You can get in your room, but it's so now half past five 11. to twelve. Oh, half past twelve. There you go. Yeah, and our room is ready to go. So. Cool. Yeah, so Sally's just over there. Yeah, you take that. Um. Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. You just have to fill your forms out online of all your guests in your part, like who's in your party. Uh, which I done um, and then you just sign the forms when you get to reception they only need one passport of the person who's checked in so whoever I purchased the booking so then I have to give my passport in um, so if you've got um, I just thought if you've got a child who's um, young, looking. young you could get away so, for, so from three years old you have to pay but if your child has just turned three, like two months, they don't actually, they don't check your passport. What are we looking at? Oh, right, sorry, the room. 52. 50, so we're on 50. Just down there. Yeah. Um, yeah, they don't actually check the child's passport, so you could actually get away with it. It's like 400 quid each, isn't it? I don't know how much it is. Um, you save yourself 400 quid there. Jack, hold my hand, sorry. I'll keep looking down because Jack's um, walking too close to the pram. He's going to get run over. Um, yeah, so they don't check all your passports, it's just one passport who checks you in, so you could be a bit naughty, a bit cheeky, and um, not pay for one child if they've just turned three. In this economy, so are. it's a lot of money, it's a lot of difference. I think it's like 400 pounds. Um, yeah, so anyway, we're going to go to our room now and uh, we'll, we'll fill you in, we'll show you around, see, um, see what the room's like. So, I'll speak to you soon. Just us walking to right. our room. So this is the room we've got, eh? I don't know if so the keys are gonna. It, so your also your room key is your pass to get into the, the uh, parks as well. Approve. Oh, lovely! We've got our. Let's put our key in. Go. We've got a cot. Look at this funny picture. 
Yeah, we're just getting the children Ooh, yeah. in. It is very warm. We need to put the old air con in. Oh, we've got two lovely. We've got a, a ceiling fan, so that's okay. Oh, that's your aircon. Yeah, so we've got two nice beds. Oh, it's lovely. It smells clean. Lots of storage there as well. Nice little TV, little chair if you want to sit down. Oh, there is some sort. Is that a heater? Yeah, it's a heater. Um, no. Let's have a look. Uh, hey boys, got a nice little area for your clothes. This is the bathroom, nice lit mirror there. Got a little hair dryer. Um, tissues. You've got your um, shampoos and conditioners. Got some towels there as well, lovely. Right, so yeah, it's a uh, pretty um, garden view. Yeah, I, I'll give you the camera, Chris. Yeah. I'm going to get Charlie out. And see. Nice little garden view out there. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but the, ro the paths are actually paved like roads. So it's really good theming actually in this hotel. Um, it is a budget hotel, so it's not going to be five star, super duper, all singing, all dancing. Um, how much did we pay for this, Soph? So you do, if you do it on the French website, you save yourself like 300 quid, just yeah. so you know. So if you go on the French Disneyland Paris website, you save 300 pounds straight away. Yeah. Um, I think we paid 1,200-ish. Mm. I'll have to double check. Yeah. Yeah, under 1,000. £1,200. Yeah. And then we got the extra night in the other hotel. Oh, yeah, so and then we're done. So three nights here, which gives you four nights. Oh, I said four park. nights. Sorry, right. So, so it's three, three nights, nights here. here. And one uh, night. And then one night in a, a Disney Partner hotel. Right. Because um, you get four day tickets. And I thought I might as well use the whole day on the fourth day. Yeah. So we checked in. Yeah, so we're going to be checking into another hotel. Um, and then I've got the shuttle the next day, so we can leisurely go and not worry. Because I hate it when you've got a Disney day yeah. and then you've got to leave early because it takes four hours to get there. Yeah. Or three out, three four hours. Yeah. So, and how much was that a partner hotel? Um, one hundred and sixty-one pounds on Booking.com. What one is it? Can you remember what one it is? I oh, will show them. We we'll show them. Um. Right, so we're gonna get the cases into the room and then we're gonna go to the park. So we'll see you when we walk into the park. Unless, what was it? I was gonna say, there's, if you've got a big family, you can ask for two rooms together. Well, we did that before, didn't we? Connecting room. Mm. Yeah, and that worked out quite nicely actually, didn't it? Yeah. Felt like a much bigger space. That's when we stayed at the um, Shire. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a look around the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Right, we'll see you when we walk into the parks. Right, we're now off to Disney. So, so has got Charlie and Noah in there. I've got Jack in this one because Jack's not feeling well. So, I decided to whack him in a pram because it's quite a long walk to the park, um, as you'll see in a minute, because I'll take you along the walk. Um, the, this one and the cowboy one are the furthest away from the parks, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, what's the other one called? Oh, uh, Cheyenne. Cheyenne, that's it. So Cheyenne is actually opposite this one. Um, and you'll see what I mean in a second. Right, so this is what I'm talking about. So there's our hotel, and we just walked down that road there. And then just over here, it's uh, the Cheyenne. And then in between us, so you can actually walk around. This, there's this, um, this creek or this river or whatever that runs all the way along to Disney. But you can see there's just a little waterfall over there and you can walk over a little bridge and walk on the other side and there are little bridges as you go along so you can walk on either side that you please um it's a lovely day it's, it's a bit overcast but it's really warm what is it about 22 at the minute so um, I don't know, like 20. yeah it's, it's nice temperature it's so because a load of bugs yeah, <laughs> but yeah it's a really nice walk actually into Disney Park and there's lots of animals you see rabbits 
hedgehogs, squirrels, yeah. and you and elephants, also, zebras. <laughs> <and> also, <laughs> yeah. Like, in, like, like, do you know what's at the bottom of that, that river? Go on, tell me. Water snakes. Ugh. There are actually, there are actually massive fish in yep. that um, yep, lake, sure. river, whatever you call it. Um, I'm, if I see some, I'll let you know. I'll show you. Right, so this is one of the many bridges I was talking about. That you can cross over and go on the other side, which I think that's what we're going to do because it's a nicer walk on the other side. Yeah, because it's nicer over this side, ain't it? Can we see any of the fishes? Not just there. What about over here? It's a bit murky, isn't it? Oh no, there's a massive one over there, look. Oh yeah. Can you see it, Charlie? don't know if that's coming out on camera. But you get some massive fish in here. So those of you that like fishing, and there's another one just over there. So there's one there and one there. Absolutely massive. A good 20 pound. Really big. Right. Yeah, let's go over here. There isn't any I hope not. Might be some alligators though. So this really does mimic um, staying at, in America, doesn't it? When you can walk along the river and that. It really does mimic it. We do have a lot of like that Disney feel from like obviously Florida and oh, stuff like that. Yeah. Especially when the sun's out. Yeah, definitely. So actually, top tip, if you are staying in this hotel, when you come back um, down the path, just from there, so rather than going in that bar that I was talking about earlier, you can go in over here. Um, so just over there is their main lunch hall and a bar. So you can have a pizza and uh, go in the restaurant as well over there. So you can choose either or. But we quite like that bar over there because you can get a little cheeky pizza, can't you? Yeah, yeah it done as a squeeze last time. Cause, yeah. Um, well, it was absolutely starving. And, uh, Everything was closed. It was only little and um, it's still only little now. But yeah, we'd done it. He had his first pizza and it's like a Mickey Mouse yeah. pizza. Yeah. Corona. He loved it. Yeah. And he's been a pizza yeah. muncher ever since. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was the... It was the Toy Story music, weren't it? Yeah. There we go, so you've got some security going about. All looking serious with their uh, stab vests on. <laughs> but yeah, what's it, about a 10 minute walk from here? It says, um, it says 15 minutes on the app. That's slow. So it depends how fast you walk. Yeah, depends if it's raining or not. Yeah. Ah. Right. That's a little fault there, little kids. Oh play, yeah. Play look at that. Should you go and have a look quick, Jack? Yeah. Fort Apache. Oh look, there's tents as well, wigwams. Wigwams? I think they're called wigwams. Actually, I, I did, yeah. Sure. I remember now. So you got uh, the wigwam bams over there. And then you've got like a little park. And it's a fort. Oh, I think that's closed. But yeah, the upstairs bit's closed, but this, this bit's good. Yeah, come on, Charlie, we're gonna go to Disneyland. Come on. Go Disney. Can yeah? You go? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coming in. Sorry, Noah. Jack, say, hey you guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> <laughs> right, so just behind me there, you can see we're just leaving uh, where those hotels were and just going under these uh, roadway bridge. And then on the left here, we're approaching Sequoia Lodge. Now Sequoia Lodge is considered one of your more premium resorts. It's, to be honest with you, it depends when you book is how expensive these resorts are. See, some of them, are, they're all weird. So sometimes you can get this one cheaper than the one that we're staying at. So again, it depends when you're booking, but that 
resort has a really nice bar and it's got a swimming pool as well included in that one so I recommend popping in there to see their bar because uh, it's actually really quite nice perhaps we'll do it on this trip but yeah they've got a spa and a swimming pool as well and then on the right hand side just over here we're gonna go past the Hotel New York which is the Marvel Hotel um, has the Marvel Hotel got a swimming pool so if I can't remember it has we've never been in it so it's the only one that one and the Disney one and the Newport Bay are the only three hotels we haven't been to out of the what is it seven hotels that are here it's the only three we haven't been to so This is the back of the New York Hotel. Hey guys, if you could just do me a favor and like, share and subscribe, that will really help us out for the channel so everybody else can see what we're doing. Um, and it help us grow the channel. All right, here we go. So now you can see the Marvel Hotel. Just there, all different room types there. That's considered your most premium hotel, I believe, other than obviously the Disney Hotel itself, which is just crazy money. <laughs> but this is pretty uh, expensive to stay here. It's normally a few thousand for a couple of nights here. It's like 500-ish a night. Um, at its lowest level, I guess, 500 a night. Um, but again, that's, that depends on how many people you're in your party as well I suppose it's more expensive for us because obviously there's five of us um, but yeah so there's the front of the Hotel New York the, uh, Marvel Hotel and then as we pan round we get to the Disney Village so just on the left over there is the entrance to the Sequoia Hotel, Sequoia Lodge, and that is the Newport Bay Hotel just across there. Zoom in, give you a little look at the Newport Bay Hotel. We've not, darling, no. That means we've got four Yeah. And look, there's a even got a balloon here, the same as they have at um, Disney Springs. So this is your equivalent to Disney Springs. Oh, look, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, so that's what they, they would say this is, Disney Springs or Disney Village. I think they used to call Disney Springs Disney Village, actually. Let's have a look at Hotel New York just there. Looking at boy. <laughs> it's a bit like Rainforest Cafe. It looks a bit. Oh yeah, no, there is Rainforest Cafe. So yes, it is. Right, so we've just gone through security because you have to go through security to get into the Disney Village. So you live in like a bubble if you stay in these hotels. So you never have to leave because obviously you can walk everywhere. Um, you can get a bus, I think, but it's just really no point it's just a few minutes walk but obviously if you're not able then I guess you can get a bus because uh, there is free buses I think but yeah Disney Village here we go this looks nice so this is brand new we've not seen this yet a brasserie what does that mean don't know what that means brasserie 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 no You can get nice beer, look by the looks of it. Nice bar look, in there, look. There, there we go. Look, oh yeah, look, the balloon's gone up. How good's that? I don't know how much that is. I don't know where Sophie's gone either. That looks really nice in there. Right, 
I'm gonna go in here and get an Earl of sandwich because I'm starving. So we just sat down in the Earl of sandwich. Well, I have. Um, <laughs> just got in the Earl of sandwich, and uh, I've ordered myself something that's um, not here for very much time apparently. It's called a Cuban sandwich. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks really nice. Just that one there. So it looks like it's, um, it's got pork, pork or beef, uh, pickles, cheese, and turkey and bits and pieces like that. It looks really nice. Um, I'm knackered. Absolutely knackered. Obviously that long drive. We didn't really get much sleep last night. I don't know how Sophie's still standing because she only had like an hour and a half sleep last night because this little monkey kept waking her up, didn't you? Hey. I was just saying, I don't know how you're standing, so because you only had an hour and a half sleep. Yeah, I know. Normally I feel, um, you know, like when you've got a hangover, you feel sick or drunk, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're all very, very tired. So I don't know how much lot we'll stay in the park, but um, we'll get a couple of rides in today at least, won't we? Yeah, I think actually we'll have a couple of rides and... We'll liven up a bit. Yeah. It's like yeah. the kids, because they can't with a pram. Yeah, like Charlie's about to. Yeah, he's <laughs> Right. So we're going to sit and eat our... Well, once our sandwiches are ready, we're going to sit and eat them. Um, and then we're going to go walk through the village and get into Disney Paris. Disney Paris. So, um, yeah, I'll show you my sandwich when it comes out because they are really nice sandwiches. If you've not been in Earl of Sandwich before, I do recommend it. It's a really nice, um, quick and easy normally as well. Um, and when you come back out of the park, it's on the way to the hotel, uh, you can actually get a pizza or bits and pieces here as well. Because we find normally when you go into these restaurants um, at the park, they're all the same and they're all not very nice to be fair. And we don't like them, most of them. Um, but there is that new one which we might have to try. So if we do try, I'll definitely take you in to share the experience. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll show you the pizza, uh, pizza. I'll show you the sandwich when it comes out. All right, Sophie's just made a bottle for Noah so he can have I'll something. Yeah, boiled water. I've got right. So, what did you get? You've got. So I got a children's meal uh, for eight ninety five. I got a cold water, a cookie, and a kids sandwich. I think it's like I might be like turkey and cheese. I'll have a look. Oh, ham and cheese. Oh, he wants his bottle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got two new teeth. Has he? He's got two new bottom teeth. Oh, really? Ah. Uh, that's what all the fuss was about then. Leave him, Jack. Right, so that was yours. Yeah. So I've got a coffee. Which actually looks really nice. I do love their coffee here. Yeah, they're it's nice like, coffees, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, really nice. It's probably my favourite coffee. Yeah. Out of everywhere. And then I've got a sandwich, which I was talking about. It's a foot long. But that was 18 quid. So Sophie definitely got a better deal there. Um, let me just undo this so we can see what this looks like. It's quite hot because they make it fresh to order. There's no, it's a bit like a subway really. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Right, I'm going to tuck in. Go on, so that's your children's so this one. Is children's one, yeah. So they already cut it for you, which is good. Yeah. It's ham, it's really hot, and it's got um, cheese as well, and like mayo, but it, it's a bit. Um, like mustard. And you're mustard back, mayo. back on the old dairy now, sort yeah, of. Yeah, sort of. A little bit. Yeah. Not fully. Oh, she's going in. Really? Is it nice? Yeah, it's definitely um, mustard. Mustard mayo. So if your kids like don't like mustard, make oh. sure you press the option not to get the mustard. You can modify it, can't you? Oh. Right. Anyway, I'm going to eat mine now. So, if I was at Ola Sam's, is that all right, was it? Lovely. All fed up. It's a new one over there. Le computer. I don't know what that is. It, oh, sandwiches and stuff and uh, coffee, right? Yes, yeah, a new one, yeah. A lot of construction going on down here at the uh, Disney Village. 
There's the old rainforest cafe we've eaten in there. Scares the hell out of the kids every half an hour because the uh, rainforest goes off. But um, yeah, it's okay in there, not too bad. Um, it's all like pre packaged food and stuff, so which a lot of these ones are down here, but there we go. Never been in steakhouse? Let me know in the comments if any of you have ever eaten in this steakhouse. Um, it's meant to be really nice, isn't it? I think it is quite pricey actually as well. But they're saying that everything's really pricey around here, so because it's that's what you call the Disney magic. That McDonald's over there, interesting. If you ever do come, do go in there and have a look because they do all sorts of different desserts and bit, different bits and pieces um, and unique burgers specific to that McDonald's. Bits and pieces, stuff and things. Gucha. Yes, I'm gonna. I might make a T-shirt of that. Bits and pieces, stuff and things. Um, what we got here? Sports one. That's quite a good one. This one, New York style sandwiches. That's all right. If it, uh, they do fish and chips as well, I think. Unless that's another one I'm thinking of. No, that is it, right? Um, they got <coughs> Billy Bob's here, which is a buffet. I think they do a la carte as well, but it is a buffet mainly. There is a lot of construction. Lego, that's going to be new. Was there? Uh, that's no. I thought that was just the Toy Story bit at the front over there. Was it not? Oh, pretzel stand. Yeah, look, that is new. Look, see. They've just moved it. I know what you're saying. We've moved it. Right, so this one here, I think it used to be called something else. Um, it was all right before. So you used to be able to get a massive stein of beer in there. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll have to pop in there and see if it's any good. Yeah, it was getting really shabby in there. Yeah. It was okay, weren't it? It weren't, weren't too bad. It's quite good value for money in there. Um, yeah. Oh, looks like they've changed up the stalls as well. What we got there? We got lots of bits and pieces, stuff and things going on. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of construction going on. So we've, we've attempted to go in this one a few times. The old. Um, 50s diner or whatever you call it, Annette's diner. Um, but never really sat and actually had anything, have we? I think we, we queued for a long time and then we went in there and then realised that Charlie doesn't eat burgers or Jack doesn't eat burgers. So and that's all they do. We should have checked the menu really, shouldn't we? Oh yeah, the ups inside out too. They call it in France, look Jack, they call it vice versa too. Oh, look, now you can speak French. <laughs> Just do it with an accent. Vice versa. Yeah, and then you've got a massive um, Shop Disney shopping experience over there. World of Disney, yeah. Right, anyway, enough of that. We'll see you in the parks. Right, let's give a shout to the builders that completed the... Uh, Disney Park Hotel or whatever they call it. Um, it looks really good now. It looks really good. I wouldn't have gone with pink myself, um, but there we go. <laughs> it does look really nice though. So I wonder how much it is to stay in the staterooms at the top. I'd imagine quite a bit of money. But um, yeah, looks really good. What's, what's, what do you think, Soph? Yeah. Lovely. You like the colour? Yeah, I think it's really Bit nice. of pink. I'd like to go and have a look inside. Yeah, maybe we will, eh? Yeah, it's all uh, very fresh, isn't it? Yeah, it's all got loads of fresh paint on yeah, it. Like Looks nice. Oh, look, that's the reception area you go in then, obviously. Just there, look. That's the grand entrance that we've seen before. Don't look much from the outside, but when you go in, it looks real fancy. Um, then you can go across this bridge get into the main area. Lucky boys and girls. 
<laughs> right, we are now in the park. So we're in the, um, I don't know what you call this park. Is it Magic Kingdom? No. Disneyland, isn't it? This is actual Disneyland, the other one is Studios. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> With his ears and stuff. Yeah. Loads of characters about today. So our plan is to, our plan is to go to um, Tomorrowland. Is it Tomorrowland? Um, and, and see if Buzz is open. I think it says on the app it's closed. But... So it says it's closed. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if it's open. And then if not, we'll do some bits and pieces over there, stuff and things. And um, yeah, let's see what we can do from there. But that's our first port call. Now the question is, so do you want to go down the main street or do you want to go through the alleyway? Okay, go main street. Main street? Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting them vibes, Disney vibes. <laughs> um, I noticed there's a new merch out of um, Stitch. I don't know why it's always Stitch. It's always bloody it's Stitch. Um, I thought Charlie might like it because it's a big Stitch and it's yeah. like a duck in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, they're, so they're navigating everyone away from the street to do the parade. But you said there was another parade till tomorrow. So. Oh, the app's not working, okay. Alright then. So yeah, we'll um, pick you back up when we get to Tomorrowland then. Okay, so we are now approaching uh, Tomorrowland, which is the future. Here we go. Oh no, Buzz is under construction. Right, Jack, Buzz is under construction. Which, what do you want to do instead of Buzz? Uh, I want to do instead of Buzz, Storybook. Storybook ride, right, okay. Now, do you want to go, what about if we... Do the car driving. Yeah, you got the car driving. If you did like the video today, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe as it helps us reach loads more people so we can share our adventures with them too. Don't forget to leave a comment down below so we can find out what you've been up to or what you like about our videos. Right, so Buzz is under construction. Such a shame because it's a great ride. Right, classic that one. Um, I wonder if Space Mountain's open because it wasn't before. Space. Yeah. Because that's a really good one. You can never look at the ride times. It actually looks quite busy. Utopia, the driving one. 30 minutes, right. Um, Is there anything around 10 minutes? <laughs> Mickey's uh, Villa Magic. Villa Magic? Yeah, the film, sit down the oh, screen one. The, the movie, yeah. Uh, Star Wars. Let's have a look at Star Wars. Small world, ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah. over there. Okay, come yeah. on in. Yeah. So I've just come over to one of the stalls, and they've got some nice little treats here. I'm going to get Jack some marshmallows, I think. Hello, can I get some strawberries with white chocolate, please? With white chocolate. Yes, please. Do you want to play with cash or card? Card, please. Do you want to receive? No, thank you. So we've got some strawberries there with white chocolate on for Jack. 
because he doesn't feel very well and that's what he fancies so that's what we got and I can't remember how much I paid for it now that weird light there boys uh, I'll have to have a look at my app you think you can buy it through it? it's five quid five quid yeah so I just finished on the strawberries so I thought I might get the camera out and ask her questions <laughs> Jack, Jack didn't like the strawberries. I knew he wouldn't like them because so he got chocolate on. So Sophie's had them. Um, so one thing of uh, noteworthy is there's a lot of construction at the moment at Disney Paris, like, and I mean a lot. So the children's area where you've got the the train ride and the storybook ride is actually closed. So I'll just show you that there. That's closed. So Buzz Lightyear shut. So Buzz Lightyear shut. Storybook land shut. Construction walls all around the castle. Um, all around the side of the castle. And so is the Alice so in Wonderland bit. It looks like Alice in Wonderland shut as well. Yeah, so the maze, the other bit that Jack loves. So he loves Storybook Land. It's his favourite. Buzz Lightyear is his favourite. And Alice in Wonderland is his favourite. The maze. And they're all shut. And they're all shut. Amazing. I didn't even know. Amazing. No. The maze is shut. Amazing. I, I don't think they told us when we booked. They wouldn't. So. Because we perhaps would have just waited. And I would have thought this is peak season, isn't it? Surely. Because it's um like six weeks holidays and stuff like that. Get really nice ice creams from there, as a side note. You want an ice cream? Yeah, okay. Soph, get me an ice cream. Okay. What one do you want, boy? Uh, okay. Go on then. No, I'll take a seat with the kids, and then you can go get it. <laughs> right, see you in a minute. Right, so this is the Disney ice cream. We've eaten a lot of it right now, but uh, so sharing it between the boys. They really like it, don't they? It's nice ice cream as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is nice ice cream. Yeah. It's very creamy. Creamy. Hey, Charlie. This is the way. Look, what's this? Oh, yeah. Is that nice, Charlie? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but there is no way we're going to get a brain freeze on. No, no brain feast today. No thank you. So this is day one at Disney. And we've, we've not been on a ride yet. How many hours have we been here? So we got here at one o'clock. It's now 20 to five. It's that busy that we've not actually got on anything. But the rides that we did want to go on is all closed. Mm. So you've got Buzz Lightyear, that's closed. You've got the Fantasy Land. No, no. Uh, you've got Tomorrowland. No, not Tomorrowland. What's it called? That's how tired we are. Yeah, uh, it's the like the storybook ride um, and the Casey's train. That's closed. Then you've got uh, Jack was like, right, okay, we'll do the Alice in Wonderland maze. That's closed. Um, okay, well, we're going Small World. 60 minute wait. No, we're not waiting for 60 minutes. Okay, well... What was the next thing? We just thought, in the end, we're just gonna walk around, see what we can find. Everything's wait times are like really high because I think like half the park's closed and it's all got walls up, so everyone's obviously going to the other rides. Um, yeah, the kids have been in the park. That was alright. Not, not only that, I've had two hours sleep last night. Chris has had four hours sleep. Yeah, four hours sleep. So that's. I'm yeah, doing all right. I'm not too bad. You are really dumb. I'm, I'm flagging. He wants I'm... to go back to the room and that's it. Go home. <laughs> and I just feel like it's such a waste of a day. But if you're tired, you're tired. And then also we've got a situation where we've got Jack, who's. Jack passed out, he's not well, he's not eating anything, he doesn't want to drink anything, he's got a bit of a temperature, and, that, and it just feels really weak to me, he's had his legs hurt, stuff yeah. like that. So, I said, 
like get the other pram out. He never sits in a pram because he's five and he just does it. He's too big. So anyway, so he's in a pram, asleep. Then we've got Charlie. He's asleep. And that was asleep. And then we're away. So, so we've had. I've had a beer. And Sophie's had a margarita. Oh, don't say that. I'll get home. <laughs> oh, very irresponsible. So oh, both, on no, 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 both on the booze, both on the booze, and enjoying just ourselves. Just having one, look, literally like yeah. frozen margarita, oh. and I've got some. Um, and there you enjoy yourself. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> Stop enjoying yourself. Mm. Um, so I'm a beer. It's seven euros fifty for a large beer. Uh, margarita is eight euros, and. Uh, Nuggets is seven euros. And where are we? We are in uh, like Coco. Yeah, like Coco's Tavern. Coco's yeah. There's some like murals on the wall and stuff. It's one of our favourite places, isn't it? To come. It's just easy, isn't it? Quick and easy. Yeah, it's just easy. Um, inex inexpensive. And, uh, yeah, it's one of my favourite films. It's Coco, so I like coming here. Like Coco, you yeah. know, other ones, like one of your favourites. Uh, Princess and the Frog. Oh yeah, Princess and the Frog. haven't got anything here. So we're looking forward to going to Florida next, so we can go on, on the new Princess and the Frog ride. Now it's been said that it's... Tiani's Adventure. Yeah, Tiani's Bayou Adventure, but why didn't they just theme it as the um, same as the film? They should have just done it as the film. but. Still looking forward to it anyway, and trying all the food. So that that will be coming up. So keep eyes peeled. That will be coming up. Anyway, we're just going to enjoy ourselves, and we'll catch you in a bit.